May we have our next contestant, please? <laughs> Would you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? My name is Ruth Tucker, and I'm from Mattoon, Illinois. It's Ruth Tucker, and she is from Mattoon, Illinois. And Ruth, this is a terribly ungallant thing for a gentleman to ask a lady, but I can't resist saying how old are you? I'm 14. 14 years old. The reason I asked is I have a boy at home who's watching and he's 17. <laughs> I thought he'd like to know. All right, if you will whisper your uh, secret to me, we'll show it at the same time to the audience at home. Here we go. Panel, a clue to Ruth Tucker's secret concerns something that she did. We'll start the questioning. Well, we never got started on the last one, so let's start with Bill Cullen, please. Uh, Ruth, was the thing that you did, was it athletic? No. Uh, could we consider it a fine accomplishment, the thing you did? That's difficult for her to answer be without appearing conceited. I would say yes, it's quite an accomplishment. You were best at something or first at something along those lines. I won't be more specific than that. Did some... There's $20 gone, $60 yep. to go, and we have Betsy Palmer. I have an awful sneaky suspicion. <laughs> um, did what you did, did you do have anything to do with us on the panel tonight? Yes. I won't go any further then. No. Bless you, Betsy. <laughs> $40 gone, $40 to go. And remember the way the thing read. I the think... last phrase was, they do not know. They did not know. Now let's go to Henry Morgan. Well, I have a question for Betsy. How do you know? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm intuitive. Oh, well, I sure ain't. Uh, did you do this thing tonight? No. Were you... You're 14. Uh, that's nothing. We're only eight, huh? <laughs> I thought maybe, you know, you were born on the show or something. Um, did you t talk to any of us recently? No. Did you teach or talk? Talk. talk. No. Uh, all right, there's uh, $60 down, $20 to go. We go, please, to Bess. Uh, Ruth, do I know about this, too? Just the way Bessie does? I don't think so. Oh, no? Well, um, maybe I'm wrong. Well, I don't know. I thought it had something to do with the way we appear tonight. Huh? Yes. Yeah. What we're wearing? Yes. Huh? Ah, you see, we're Ruth wearing. made the dresses, the dresses that we're wearing on, tonight. Is that hey, right? yo, yeah. Now, lest our audience wonder how the girls could not have known until this very moment why uh, their dresses were uh, designed by Ruth, is simply this. That, as you know, most women performers on television do not wear their own clothes. Each week, their clothes are furnished them by top designers, people like Seal Chapman. This is for two reasons. First of all, so that they may look at their loveliest, and also so that they can afford to wear a new dress at every performance, which is obviously impossible without some such arrangement. So, we heard about Ruth not a, too long ago. We sent her Betsy's measurements several weeks ago, and Betsy's, and when she finished the dresses, we just put them hanging up in the girls' dressing rooms where they would normally find a Seal Chapman. I went up this evening, and they looked in the back, as they always do, to see who was the designer. And they said, there's no designer's label in the back here. Chester, we goofed. We should have put Seal Chapman in the back of the dress, and they would have gone right <laughs> along with it. But there were, uh, suspicions were aroused when they saw no label in the back of the dress, probably the first time in... Yes, Beth. Yes, but also, Gary, very often Betsy and I go into the market and visit the salons and select the dresses that we're going to wear and line them up for several weeks. So when these came in, they didn't look recognizable. Right. right. You ah, <laughs> so we were not as sneaky as we thought. Yes, Bill. In fairness about our clothes, Gary, I think it's only fair to say that Henry makes mine. <laughs> That's why, that's why I always look so bad. I don't have any time. All my time goes into his stuff. Well, I will confess, mine are furnished me by Hart Schaffner and Rescue Mission Number 9. Uh, Ruth, I wonder if you would do a little fashion commentary for us. If we can get the ladies, of course, we're getting no value from the dresses they're being behind the, the panel desk the way they are. Betsy, will you stand up and model yours, and we'll have their creator describe what it is and how it was arrived at. Right on the front. Just go out there and turn around. That's fine. No Bet, 
Betsy Palmer is wearing a pale blue after five dress. The bodice is of nylon lace, and the tapered skirt is of watered taffeta. Ah, uh, there you go. Bess, will you come out there? Oh, here we see Bess Myers. <clears throat> How much is it? Can I buy it? Bess Marston's dress is American Beauty red satin brocade sheath with a gathered illusion cape that dips low on the back. And there you go. And Ruth, as we say thank you to you and your, your fine talents, will you take one little turn around for us as you leave because she designed her own dress, too. A large hand for Ruth Tuck. Fourteen years old. Mm. Hey, friends, you got to leave. Sorry, but do not take your blindfolds with you. We'll call you, don't you call us. <laughs>